In this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to create a splash screen in your PyInstaller EXEs. Now, whenever you're dealing with a lot of major libraries like NumPy or Matplotlib or PyQt or Takeinter or even those machine learning and data science libraries like PyTorch, then your application size can get very big and load times can be between 5 to 10 seconds. And that's not very good for user experience. Now, one thing that we can do to minimize this, you know, this impact to user experience is to create a splash screen. So that's what we'll look at in today's video, how to create a splash screen. Now, about a year ago, roughly in mid 2021, I think PyInstaller introduced a feature. Uh, they introduced support for splash screens, which is a great thing because before that there was a very complicated way of doing it. And for 90% of cases, it wasn't even worth the effort. So we're lucky we have this feature here today. So let's take a look at it. Now here I have a very basic application. It's, you know, using a few libraries like Tkinter, NumPy, Matplotlib, and Pandas and Pandas table. So this is going to be a pretty heavy application, like 100 MB around. And it's also going to take about five seconds to load. So we're going to apply a splash screen to this application in today's video. All right. So I'm going to, you know, uh, just show you a little bit. You can just uh, import EXEs in here. Sorry. You can import uh, CSV files, then plot them over here. And these are just random, random dots. OK, so that's just what this thing can do. Now, let me just explain a few things first. OK, let me just uncomment this code out and explain it. Basically, you need to understand what a frozen application is. A frozen ap application is what we call what PyInstaller does. If PyInstaller basically freezes your Python environment and packages it into an EXE. So that's what we call frozen applications, frozen EXEs. Okay, that's an important term. Now, what we want to do is basically import this module that PyInstaller provides us. Now, this is a library that you do not install or download. Okay, do not do that. It won't work. It's basically, you know, executed by and imported by PyInstaller whenever the EXE is pressed. If you try and include this in your normal code, okay, if you try and put this over here, it's not going to work. It's even giving me an error right now that, you know, it's not detected because it's basically linked dynamically at runtime. What we want to do here is that this code should only run, okay, this import statement should only run if our application is being executed as an EXE, as a PyInstaller EXE. So this if statement is basically checking to see if it's a frozen application and if yes, only then it imports it. Okay, so that's just a useful trick. You guys should know. If I do this now, it's gonna work, okay? And if I, if I just put it over here, it would not work. Okay, see? You can see this error over here. All right, now this is what you do. Okay, you just need to import this. Okay, and there's also one more thing over here. And let me just copy paste this over here first. Okay, and let me just explain what exactly I'm doing here. Whoops. Okay, now what we want to do is close the splash screen. Okay, when you import it, when you import this module, it's automatically going to display the splash screen and where exactly we give the image for this, that comes later. Okay, we actually link that later. So this is actually the starting step where you import it and then you need to define where you want to close it. And where am I closing it? I'm closing it in the init function of my main window. So once all of this is rendered, okay, then I want to close my splash screen. Okay, we could also come down here and do it over here. Okay, we could do it over here. Um, so there's no real problem, I guess. Okay, we can just do this over here. Okay, to keep things simpler. Okay, now uh, what we'll do now is 
go ahead and generate our exe okay because this is all we had to do we just need to import it import the module and then close it once our window is done loading okay and now do whatever you have to over here all the loading stuff all loading should be done before this point any downloads that you need to do if your application is an online one do all your connections before this point okay before you close this splash screen okay now what i want to do now is open up autopy 2 xz okay you can use pi installer it's the same thing because pi installer and autopy 2 xz you know same thing autopy 2 xz uses pi installer you can actually see the equivalent pi installer command here i'm just going to use this because it's simpler okay i'm going to select my graphing app application I'll select one file, window based, okay, and you can see the pi installer command over here, the equivalent pi installer command. And what we need to do now is come to advanced, okay, and this is the splash option. We come here and go to documents where I have my folder, my image, okay, and here it is, okay. Now, if you're using pi installer in the command line, then you just need to add this over here, this uh, dash dash splash. Then you need to put in the file path. Let me just extend that a bit. Okay. Then you put the file path of your image. Okay. And re remember to, to just keep a space. Okay. Can't I can't expand this? All right, there. Okay, just keep a space over there in between. Now let's go ahead and convert this. Th that's all we needed to do. I'm just gonna pause the video right here and we'll let this finish. Okay, and then I'll show you guys the result. All right, so here we are, it's complete. I'll just open the output folder and where is it? Ah, here we are, the icons loading, and there we go. Okay, it's 110 MB, if I, if I remember correctly. Come on, let me just, okay. Well, anyways, here's, this, here's this, the splash screen, as you can see over here, and it took about three seconds. And let me just show you the size, hold on. Okay, 110 MB, yeah. So here's our application, okay? Let me just do that one more time. Okay, here's the splash screen loaded over here, about three to four seconds, yep. So yeah, and as you can see, this is this works, it's pretty simple. Now that, that's also a drawback because I think it's a bit too simple. There should be more options. Uh, I think this feature needs to be worked on a bit more, it needs to be a bit more mature. Because there is an option to add text over here that I've seen people use, but for some reason it just doesn't work. I've tried this on multiple images. You can supposedly, you know, put in text over here, but it doesn't work for me. Maybe it'll work for you guys, so just try that out. And if this feature receives any more updates in the future, I'll make sure to, uh, you know, make a new video on that with the updated features, hopefully, because I am hoping this feature gets updated. All right, now, other than that, one more thing I'll mention is that for, if your application is taking too long to load, then you might wanna look at uh, decreasing the load time, obviously. So I'll have a video for that in the description below because I'm working on that right now. I have a few tricks that I know of to decrease the file size, to decrease the load time. So we'll take a look at that, okay? That's all from me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I went on a bit long, but I just thought you, need, you guys needed to understand the theory behind what's going on. All right. See you guys in the next one.